Hey guys, what is up, Mayor Doctor again? This time we're gonna actually do a real, legitimate level. Crystal Glacier. Now, I'm not saying that the other levels weren't legitimate or anything, but... Yeah. That's what I was gonna say, they're just uh, what's it called? Oh. Again. Viral! The ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. Colossus Valley. Hmm. Remember when I was talking about Colossus actually being two separate levels at one point? It was originally supposed to be Colossus Valley and Colossus Springs instead of Colossus and Idol Springs. Yeah. Nothing worth mentioning there. I was gonna say, is there just speedways? Thank you, I got it in this time and I can't move. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. See, that's just something that I think is kinda cool. Seems like the autumn plains levels were the ones that were made first. First Metro Speedway gets Hunter's name wrong with The Hunter. And they say that it's a Colossus Valley instead of Colossus. I don't know. That's just a theory, but it seems like that's the case. Though I can't really take the credit on that discovery. I took a lot of it off of what's on what's place my people that are way more obsessed with the Spyro series than I am. Find a cool series and all, but I'm not that obsessed. People like treat Spyro like a Bible. It's like, dang. That's a bit extreme. Watch! We'll help you climb this wall up ahead. Uh, sure, Iggy. I could probably just get up there. My no, I can't actually. I could probably get up there from this first ledge, though. Yeah. Uh, I can't move again. Okay, my emulator window just went out of focus. So, that's my problem. Damn, my emulator's getting out of focus. You know, because focus is important and everything. Money bags, totally skippable here. I show how, but honestly, it's on that point where it's like, I think it's a bit too difficult. I've done it, but that doesn't mean it's easy. <sighs> it's a little mini game down here. I wasn't really planning on showing you guys that yet, but uh, yeah, basically, what you do down there is kill spiders. I'll, uh,. I can't move again! Damn it! This thing is going out of focus for no reason. It has not done this in any of the other parts so far. Okay, well. I don't know, maybe Fraps is changing file directories or something. Doubt it, but. Mm, I'm trying to come up with theories. Guys, okay, so I'm a studying engineering major. I have to come up with the solution to problems. It's just part of what I am. Okay, well. Basically what you do is you would go from here, I can't believe I'm actually going to show you guys this. Go up there like... <laughs> I just saved myself. Yeah, you go up there but you don't fall through by going too far like what I just did. Nice going self. Make you feel any better, I wasn't actually going to make the jump. So you don't think I would have. Probably not. Probably would have swerved away at the last second. It was stuck to money bags. Hello there, Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for a small fee. I'm sure it's small. Also, I'd like to mention he looks a lot lighter in the stage. I don't know if that's a beta version of his model or if he's supposed to look lighter because of the level. But if he was supposed to look lighter because of the level, then why is Spyro the exact same color? I I just want to answer that. Two hundred gems, whatever. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Huracost that I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. Oh, Huracost could be. Wait, Huracost is one of those few levels that doesn't actually have a sister stage. So it's kind of kind of odd, but, mm. but I mean, those people I was talking about before are way more obsessed. I don't remember who it is actually. I remember seeing it on the slide spin or whatever it is. The thing that's being hosted by Chris Fudge and all them, but. 
people that are way more pissed at the game than I am. Just look at it and say, yeah, that's a pretty good game for the time. Though, honestly, I don't know if I would say it stood the test of time perfectly. Still definitely one of the best games on the PlayStation, no doubt about that, but... I don't know if I would make the argument of one of the best games ever made. That seems like a very strong statement to make. And I grew up with these games, so it just seems like a really hard thing for me to say. In any case, Snowball! I can't do anything about it yet. Um, I charged into it and I didn't take damage. I'm awesome, guys. Fear me. Just fear me. Just that. Look out below. Oh dears. So what we basically get is all three of them jumping up, trying to push a giant snowball down a slanted and curved cliff and hoping that slant somehow bounces around about 90 degrees oh. and hope it makes it. You think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head? Thank you! Logic! Take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. Oh, oh are they gonna be tanked? Oh well. Uh, don't worry, it was a good trade. I promise you, it was a good trade. I won't tell them. Probably. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. You got nothing on me. <laughs> well. Jump around here, and I'm gonna see if I can pull it off. Yeah, I did. If you jump on the top of those things, they jump up. But I didn't know that happened. Well, another glitch exploit, guys. I lost my pet snow leopard. I was busy fishing, and when I turned around, he was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draclets. The draclets? What are those? As you can say, oh, whatever. If it's important, I'll learn. Go around, grab all the gems here while I can, because I don't want to have to come back here, but that's George. Just saw him briefly. So, uh, yeah. Made it to the 2000 mark again. Where's George? Where's George? He usually follows you once he sees you. Oh, there he is. He went up there. Come on, George. He jumped off, and he's running back, okay? George, come over here. Come on. Come on. Basically what he does is he comes up to all these watering holes with the fish. You just have to spit the fish out. And hope he can go around the freaking corner. Will he follow? No, he won't. He's gonna go the exact opposite direction along this. Keep giving him fish. He'll come in front of all these little puddles. Don't worry about flaming George. He won't care. Just flame the fish. He just cares about fish. More than its own survival, he cares about survival. There we go, another one. I think that's the last one. There might be one more puddle on the other side of this, I didn't see, but no, there isn't. Oh, yeah, he follows you once you get that third one, by the way, too. He just sits down once he gets close enough. I don't think you're supposed to glide over there because he gets all thrown off. Or he might be able to, I don't know. I'm not risking it. I wouldn't risk charging for the same reason. Just come close enough and You found George. I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. Is that what I think it is? It's okay. I don't mind the surface at all. Twenty-seven orbs. Not even halfway there yet, but we're getting closer. All the ooh, got an extra life. I love that randomizer. I mean, just remember down here that thing I didn't want you guys knowing about yet? Yeah, um, that's a mini game. You kill off 15 as I learned enemies to get this power up working. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they are infested with multiplying draclets. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. Do you think you can get rid of them for us? So those are draclets. Great. 
But remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. Great. Yeah, I honestly think this is harder than that second wave of the chef thing. But... The first round, don't even focus on them. Just go for all the gems. That's what's more important. You want to get the gems. That's what's gonna get you thrown off. You're gonna be trying to swerve your way around these guys and the gems that don't. Just go through once to get the gems. Just, you'll thank me later. Yep, and we even got all the gems on level now. So now we can come back through and go for all these spiders. Should be told we'll probably miss one or two. That's okay, just, yes, yeah, I already missed two. But. You, three now, but you can't turn around. There's no time. You do the remultiply too quickly. Which, of course, just needs to respawn, but they say it's re multiplying. Which I guess makes more sense in a logical sense than that, but still, it's a, it's a game about flying dragons, okay? Come on. I don't mind stopping for this one. Yeah, you went too slowly, they're all respawning. See how prioritized their time has to be now? Just come on. Gotta get them all. That's how they respawn, too, by the way. Just wanna throw that out there. This is our last one. Got him! No, I think we just. Oh no, they respawn. You have saved us. us all from a grisly fate. Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. Yay. He actually knows what an orb is. Good for you. Zoe doesn't change colors either. I just noticed that. She saves her regular shade as well. It's just money bags. Hmm. Well, in any case, let's head back to the portal. I realize very much I could just pause the game and select an exit level, but I feel like doing it right. At least this time. You guys can rebuild fast. Alright, 12. I'm gonna go next. Uh, duh, this level right across from this one. Um, well, yeah, Skelos Badlands. Guess I'm gonna be going there the next time. So I will see you guys then. Goodbye and stuff. Seriously, go. Um, you shouldn't be here anymore.